weren't going to work. Well, we worked on fraction division using this hamburger problem. And I'm going to go through this lab sheet in case you need a little bit of a review or you were absent in class. So you can do this as a follow along. So as always, we try to read the problem and identify important information. And then we're going to work through how to fill this lab sheet out. So this is um, from the Let's Be Rational book, but we uh, just put it on a worksheet for you. So at Humboldt Middle School, football at the middle school football games, the students and teachers run a concession stand to raise money. Mrs. Drake's class is hosting a cookout, and the students are going to sell hamburgers to raise money. So part A, Mrs. Drake is grilling hamburgers. Some people like big patties, some medium patties, and some small patties. And the question is, how many eight pound patties can she make from seven eighths of a pound of hamburger? So what we wanna do is figure out how many eighth pounds fit into seven eighths of a pound. So this worksheet starts out very simple but we like to start with simple examples to, you know, build on, on a simple example. That's how we can build a strong foundation. So there's four things that you have to do. I would say that I would have probably put this in a different order now that I'm looking at it, but um, I'm going to have you draw the model first. So there's lots of ways to draw a model, and one, one's just with a pie chart. So... You can think of a pound of beef divided into eighths. And then with an eraser, you could get rid of like one little bit because you only have seven eighths of a pound. So that's one way to think of this. And each one of those little eighths of a pound can make a burger. So like this would be a burger. 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 And so on and so forth. And if you just kept shading them in, I think it's pretty easy to see that you could make seven burgers. So the solution is seven burgers. And the way we think of it mathematically is we started with seven eighths of a pound of meat and we wanted to see how many one eighths of a pound are in seven eighths. And from the model, we get that there's seven burgers. So that's our final answer. So a number sentence is like an equation. And then the what this means, it's not very interesting on the first one because it's easy, but still write a sentence. I can make seven burgers and I will not have any meat left over. they're not going to all be that easy today. But that's the general idea. So part of my message is the boxes maybe aren't written in the order that make the most sense, but that's okay. You just fill in the boxes as they come to you. So now we're going to make the problem a little bit harder. So how many two eighth pound patties can she make from seven eighths of a pound? So this is a little bit more interesting problem. And we're going to start with the same picture. But I'm also going to show you a number line picture. But I think um, a lot of people in class were, you know, kind of leaning towards this pie chart, which is a good conceptual picture. Um, so if I were going to solve it, 
this these two weights would make a burger. So that's one burger. And then I could get another burger out of these two. And then I could get a third burger out of these two. So basically, I can make three whole burgers. So I want you to look at this sentence. Because I think this sentence is really the goal that I would like you to be able to explain. So I can make three burgers, but there's a little bit left over this time. So these are eights right here. So I have an eighth of a pound left over. So I have an eighth of a pound left over, which is enough for one half of a burger. Because if I wanted to make another burger, I would have to complete that. And I don't have that little bit to make another burger. Okay? So my answer to the problem is that I can make three whole burgers. or three and a half burgers. So it depends on what the person wants to know, but my number sentence is that I started with seven eighths of a pound and I wanted to see how many two eighths were in there and I found out there was three and a half two eighths. And we practiced that more in class, but here's one eighth, here's another eighth, here's the, or one set of two eighths, those are all the two eighths, and this is the leftover, that little bit is half of two eighths. So, sometimes with a number line, this could be, um, you know, a little bit better for some people. So we're going to try the next two with a number line instead of a pie chart. So same idea. Now the teacher has two and three fourths pound of hamburger. And again, this starts really easy. How many quarter pound patties are there? So if we did a number line model, we could just make our model in fourths. So this is zero. If I do four jumps, that's one pound. LB stands for pounds. And then that's two pounds. But I have two and three quarter pounds. So right here, is two and three quarter pounds. That's what we have to work with. But my burgers in this case are only quarter pound burgers. So each one of these makes a burger. So that's one burger. That's another burger. That's another burger. And that's another burger. So up here, I could have the number of burgers and down here could be pounds. So this would be eight burgers because that's the eighth jump. So then I would have nine, ten, eleven burgers. Exactly, with no leftovers. So 11 burgers for my two and three quarter pounds. So my solution is 11 burgers. And unlike the problem above, there's no leftovers, so I don't have a fractional amount. My number sentence is I started with two and three quarter pounds, and I figured out how many one quarters go into two and three quarters, and my model over here tells me that the answer is 11. 
And so this means that I will um, make eleven patties. I guess it's not re really me. It should be the teacher. So she will make eleven patties. No leftover. So we did mostly that in class. I want you to try the back yourself and then ch check your work. Okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and talk you through a little bit more and then let you finish it yourself. So Sam has three quarters of a can of hot chocolate mix for drinks to keep everyone warm. To make a cup of hot chocolate, Sam adds hot water to one scoop of chocolate mix. And the scoop holds 1 24th of a can. And the question is, how many cups of hot chocolate can Sam make? So let's pause and think about that. Okay, so... Just thinking about the problem, you basically want to kind of imagine before you start what's going on is you've got hot chocolate mix, maybe the powder, and then you've got like a scoop, kind of like a spoon, and you're going to see how many scoops you can get out of that can. You know, so you're going to just try to think like how many scoops can I take out of the can? And each of the scoops is 1 24th of the whole 3 fourths uh, of the whole can. And the can right now has 3 fourths, it's only 3 fourths full. So the number sentence is we have to take 3 fourths of a can and figure out how many 100, 124ths, so little scoops there are. We have to think about that. So the model, the number line is going to be much, maybe nicer to draw, but it takes a little bit of thinking. So I'm going to make a straight line. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to make a nice straight line, and I only need to go from zero to one because I don't even have one whole can. So if I put zero here, and this would be one at the end, I really want to divide it into 24, which means I want to make 24 little jumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> um, and you can make this a little smaller. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here's 12. I'm going to pick up my eraser and sort of cheat with the smart board here. But I can shrink that up. Ooh, maybe I can't. I might have to draw again. Hold on. Let me erase that. Okay. So basically I've got 12 little jumps next to 12 little jumps. So 24 jumps all together. So this is zero. This would be like a half a can. And this would be a full can. But remember the can is only three-fourths full. So I'm going to divide this into fourths. So if there's 12 jumps, then six of them would be right here. That's a fourth of a can. 
and then six more jumps would bring us to a half of a can, and six more jumps would bring us to three-fourths of a can. And we don't have any else, any of this. The can is only three-fourths full. So the picture's a little time-consuming there. But each little tiny jump is a 24th, because I made 24 jumps to begin with. So right there, that's 1 24th, or it's one scoop, one scoop. But it's also 1 24th of a can. So I basically have to figure out how many little scoops there are. And I spent time on my model. But well, once I spent time on my model, I did all the hard thinking. This is six scoops. So this is 12 scoops. And this is 18 scoops. So the problem is, um, I can do 18 cups of hot chocolate. And the answer then is 18. But also, here, I can do 18 cups of hot chocolate. Because each cup needs one scoop. And that's what this is telling us. All right. So we're going to. We need to do one more here. Tom decided not to use the 124 scoop by Sam. Instead, he's going to use a scoop that's an eighth of a can, his scoop. But he starts with the same amount. So I'm going to take this picture up here. See if I can grab this picture. and bring it down here to save a little bit of time. So he starts with three-fourths of a can. Uh, it might be harder for you guys to see that picture. I think I'll start from the beginning. So our scoops are only eighths now, but I still don't need anything more than a whole can. So instead of 24 jumps, I'm just going to make eight jumps to start with. So that's one can now. And this would be scoops up here. So this would be right here. That would be one scoop. And this would be a half can. And this would be three-fourths of a can. And he doesn't have more than three-fourths, so I'm going to get rid of that. OK? So who can make more cups of hot chocolate? I think that you guys probably won't have a lot of trouble answering that. So. I want you to take a look at my picture, and we'll think about that and pause for a minute. Okay, so hopefully you've solved that problem. So this is two scoops here. And so each little jump is a scoop. So right here would be four scoops, and this would be six scoops. 
So he can only make six cups of hot chocolate. I guess they're going to be really sugary. But he still starts with the same amount, but his scoops are bigger. So he can only make six cups. Oh, that's my number sentence. That should be here. Tom can make six cups. Um, so, so, Sam makes more. So over on the explain, um, you could say Tom only makes six cups, but they are more chocolatey. I don't really think that's a word. <laughs> Um, Sam makes 18 cups because his scoop is smaller. All right, so hopefully that's helpful.